right now for me. It is Saturday night, and my wife is hanging out with peeps right through there, which means I get extra time to try to do a little help help for you, for me, for us out there in the world. So how are you? And I mean it when I say it, because I made a video about meaning it when I say it. I'm hoping you're well. I could be so much worse. I'm hanging in there. Fumbly, bumbly mornings, you know? I have a hard time waking up. But then, ooh, I hit that coffee joy which I get now because I wait that 90 minutes because all the smart people on YouTube tell me to wait 90 minutes and at first I hated their guts for telling me to wait 90 minutes before consuming caffeine. Then I waited 90 minutes for like a week. Let me tell you, let me tell you, you actually feel the caffeine light your brain on fire. And it's incredible. It's incredible. Are you doing incredible? I'm trying to help out on the interwebs one semi-meaningless post at a time. You know what I mean. If you post one happy thing on the internet, you don't know if it's gonna help anybody. But... If it does, if it does, that's spectacular, isn't it? That's how all this started. Some people consider me a small channel, but to me, I expected to help like five people maximum. And look at us now. We didn't just break 300, we broke 300. Of not something that means, it means a lot, but it wasn't a goal. This is the goal. You and me, right here, right now, not hurting as much, feeling less alone. That's the goal. That's always been the goal. Hang on. I wish you guys could smell that. It's the old whiskey and oak. Mm. Oh, it's a good candle. And you, you are special. I believe you are made in the image of a loving and beautiful deity. If you're looking for a belief to pick up and carry for a minute, let me inform you. You could do worse. I love Jesus, and he loves me, and I think he loves you. And you can click off if you need to, I get it. Jesus made you special. You're not broken, you're just hurting. There is a difference. And if you are broken and not just hurting, there is help. He's hearing you. He's hearing you. You're not alone, you are heard. He is in your head with you if you want him to be. He's listening if you want him to be. You just have to let him in. He's knocking at the door. I've been thinking a lot about church. And that's a tough one for me because I've been hurt. My feelings have been hurt by both professing Christians and churches. And I've made a fool of myself too. I have, I have. Grew up in those pews, in those buildings, like a lot of other people. And some people still go to those pews and those buildings. I just think there is more out there for us Jesus people than to go to a building once a week and listen for an hour. I think a lot of people actually know that too. I think they've wondered why things are the way that they are with church versus what was intended. And it's very hipster and retro to try to reorganize 
everything. I'm not trying to fix anybody's minds or change others' choices. I just think there's more to people talking to people, people listening, than all of that out there. And starting to sweat talking about what a lot of people think is religion. And to me, it's my relationship with the divine. It's something that you can have too. It's, you don't have to go some building. A lot of people have heard John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Eternal life. Believing in him. It sounds like Jesus just loves you, and you can work outward once you reach that point. To me, it's the best choice I've ever made, and it's saved my life. I look to a few people, reasons that I'm alive today, and Jesus is number zero, one, two, and three. Jesus is the biggest by far. Not that other humans haven't done their work too, but there's a real there is a relationship beyond the beyond, the stuff that we think we believe or understand or know. There's something beyond the beyond, the beyond. There are moments almost every day if I let them happen. There are moments where I see God helping me healing me up, keeping me alive, hearing my prayers, even if he doesn't say yes. Yes, there is suffering in the world, but there is also free will in the world. And free will is a bit of a wild stallion, isn't it? As he died, he saved someone dying right beside him in a sentence. Kind of like John 3.16, isn't it? It's in a sentence. He can save you, and then you can worry about oh, all the stuff that a lot of us goofs like to fight about. There's a lot of stuff. Libraries full of books written about one book that was written about one guy who was God and who came to this dust ball, this beautiful dust ball, to live and die for us. And we don't always hang in there with that, do we? It's easy to bail on the ideas if we don't understand them, or if we get in and then get out, dip our toe in the Jesus pool. It's easy to run away. That's where that work comes in of going, all right, I want to be saved. All right, I want to give God the time. Then you actually have to do that. Bible Project is a thing you can YouTube that I think is awesome. It is so helpful in every way. A lot of people say start with Luke the Gospel of Luke, it's in the New Testament. To wrap all that up, Jesus loves you from what I know from my own life, because if he can love me, he can love a lot of people. And if Jesus loves you and me, that gives us something in common, doesn't that? That makes life a little easier to bear, believing in Jesus you and me, that doesn't make the world worse, does it? It gives us something in common. It helps us get through our day. No denominations, no weird buildings, no scandals. Just you and me believing in the same thing in our heart of hearts. Or the cause of getting to know the one, the being, the divine.
divine God who made us. God, please bless these people. If they made it this far, or even if they clicked play and then bailed, please. Please bless these people, God. Jesus, my savior and my hero, please bless these folks in some visceral, real, tangible way if you choose. Please give them a hug for me, pat on the shoulder, high five, or something. For those that don't like contact, God, please, <laughs> the metaphor is that you would help them somehow. God, please help these folks somehow. If one person watches it, or if ten, God, help these folks, please, Jesus. In your name I pray, amen. Now we get back to our regularly scheduled whisper ramble about nothing my leg hurts and like it kind of like popped there it went and like um yeah anyway that's my that's my time thank you everyone for listening and god be with you in this wild bonkers banana panda world God be with you and us. We can get through this. And if we can get through this, eventually we can reach down and help someone else get through it. And that stacks. That stacks up. And we help people. you guys. I care about you. Love you. Because that's what that weird book the Bible said. And when you start loving people, whoo, buckle up. Your life gets so colorful. So beautiful. Some of the hurts hurt more, but if you can't exactly help yourself. Anyway, all this is advice, ideas, thoughts. I'm not anybody, but I am me. And he made me special, just like he made you special. Anyway, keep on.